Hey, I was given a key for Dusty Raging Fist from the developer. Now, I like the mechanics of this game. I like the assist attacks and the elemental stuff. It's just, the problem with this game is it's, it's not responsive. Uh, a lot of the attacks just have really long recovery, you can't cancel them. Uh, some of them just don't, like, work as they should. Like, the presentation of the game is pretty good. It, it does feel a little bit smoother than the, uh, the first game. I'm sure most of you didn't play, but I, th I feel like they need to do a patch and they need to make the attacks come out faster, we'll let you cancel into the launchers, and just uh, have less delay. Like, there are some attacks like uh, Dusty, the, the rabbit guy with the flame fists, like the, the third part of his S-string, uh, he does like this jumping axe kick, and you can't cancel out of it. So, when you use that move and something's about to hit you, you just eat damage. It, it doesn't feel as, uh, as responsive and fluid as it should, but... I wanted to do an overview, so I'm going to go ahead and play through the first level. <clears throat> to be able to see what I mean in terms of the, uh, the unresponsiveness once I get into the game. Like, you can have, you know, a really robust moveset, but if the, the character doesn't feel responsive, you don't feel like you have full control, then that can definitely make the whole uh, product not feel as fluid as it should. I'm sorry. Kitsune? The do- Um. Sensei. Well, he- My name- Elijah. Alright, so first off, uh, obviously I haven't finished the game, but there's a lot of upgrades, which is pretty cool. I do wish that it actually showed you what you had to unlock, you know, what we unlocked through each level. That would make it a lot easier to uh, make a decision, but right now I'm just focusing on the move set since you know how I am. <laughs> I always want all the moves right away. Now what I like about this game is that the, the moveset, it actually shows you, you know, what you have. It's just that the moves themselves are not responsive. Like, this move uh, in particular takes forever to come out. But it's cool how you can see what you have to work with. They've added a new evade button, which actually works pretty well from the first game. Or compared to the first game. You have the slide attack. Which unfortunately doesn't work as it should. Uh, one of the problems is that when you knock someone down, like OTG or prone, you can't launch them. Like, you can see how long this takes to come out just right here. Uh, it's pretty much not active until the character rises. And you can't cancel into it from anything. I think that's one of the things that makes the, the combat feel kind of stiff. And this is just an extension to the S string. It's a Helmbreaker kind of move. Move off the dash. <clears throat> like you can see, it kind of feels responsive, but when you play it, you feel like you can't cancel out of things as fast as you like, which is unfortunate. Like, you can see how long it takes to launch her. I'm trying to do the launcher right now. Like, the air combos feel kind of pointless because you can't get into them easily. Like, your high time launcher just takes too long to come out. I actually think the platforming is pretty good. I like how responsive the character is. I just wish that the, uh, you know, the combat itself was a little better. I feel like stuff like that, when a character is prone, you can't launch them. I feel like if they want to keep the launcher the way it is, there should be a little more, uh, you know, incentive to use it. It's 
far too easy to get hit out of it. Light on cancels as well, like you can cancel into your, your dash, but that's pretty much it. You can't like jump cancel or anything. Like a lot of times I feel like I'm just taking damage because the, the character is not very responsive. trying to go for the launcher because I love air combos, but it just does not come out quickly at all. And sometimes it doesn't even, like, launch them. A lot of this stuff is, is, you know, it's not beyond, uh, you know, fixing with a patch. I think it's just a matter of them getting appropriate feedback. I did play the first game. Uh, I got kind of frustrated with it. I don't know exactly how far I got. I must have been at least halfway through. I don't think I did anything with it on the channel. But the, the platforming in that game felt very stiff. Whereas here, it feels great. I think they definitely have... Uh, the responsiveness of the character, like when you're moving, the movement is fine, it's just the, the combat does not feel right. And I don't feel like they need to like make new assets to fix it, I think they could just make it more responsive with you know, the existing animations and stuff that they have. So that's the the cool thing about this game is the the assist feature. I, I think that's probably one of the coolest mechanics. Is you have like little NPCs that you can Simply summon, the and they have different know. features or functions. Hey, okay, it's set. So 
I might have received enough of the yellow orbs to uh, upgrade my character. Let me check that before I sign off. There's other summons as well, I have not unlocked them yet. Oh, I do have enough to level up. So a new move off the dash, and then a square and triangle kind of uh, extension. Like if he could jump cancel that, I think that would be great. Overall, I think the game is its not bad, it's just that it needs to be more responsive, and like I said, it's nothing that they couldn't fix with a couple patches. If they added more cancel points and they made the moves come out faster, maybe reduce the hit stop and uh, you know, increase the attack speed, I think this would be a lot of fun, but right now I feel like I take a lot of like damage that I can't really control, and also the character just doesn't feel as responsive as they should for, you know, the kind of game that this is. But, uh, the game is going to be out tomorrow, so if you want to try it out, you can. Uh, it does have, I think it has three-player co-op, so... If you're looking for a co-op game, it's, it's probably, uh, more enjoyable that way. But single-player, it does feel pretty stiff, I have to admit, so... Uh, if they do update it, I'll definitely let you guys know. Anyway, thanks to the developers for the key, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.